Okay, let me just break a few ground things here that I need to explain. It's 4 o'clock in the morning, so yes, I look like a cryptic mess right now because, once again, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. You may or may not hear my child in the background because he does not sleep. Just like his mother, he does not sleep. Sky is asleep in the next room, so I'm going to try and keep it as low quiet as I can. But at the same time, I'm still going to try and make it so that you guys can hear me quite perfectly. Without further ado, here we go. So what, I guess I should be telling you what I'm experiencing in my six weeks of pregnancy. Yes, I am six weeks along. I'm about to be actually stuck. I was supposed to make this on Tuesday. It's Sunday now. And I know, I know, I'm late. I'm sorry. In my six week of pregnancy, I have two weeks before my doctor's appointment. That is the first thing you should do when you find out that you're pregnant is find an OB that you would like to go to um, and schedule an appointment. You schedule your appointment when you're around oh, eight weeks is usually when they want to see you. And you're basically going off the first day of your last period. I'm only assuming mine was June 2nd, which would make me six weeks along until next Tuesday, and then I turn seven weeks and so forth and so forth. I decided to go with my OB that I had when I was pregnant with Grace. She's amazing, she's very caring, she treats me with respect, and she knows that I am very sensitive about some subjects and some different practices, and she tends to respect me on that. Use your imagination. Now you might be asking yourself, you already have two kids, how is that even possible that you're that sensitive over something in that you know, region? I just say, I can't explain it, and I could, but I'm not going to. Different story for a different time. Maybe if I write a book, why I cannot stand the under region. Sounds like a page turner to me. I decided to go with the same doctor that I had with uh, Grayson. She's funny, she's very sweet, she takes good care of me. Her nurses are wonderful. To give you an idea of how I am so much enthused by this doctor. In the middle of stitching me up, after she had taken out Grayson, they had swaddled him up, she's still in the middle of stitching me. The anesthesiologist wants to take a picture of the first, you know, family picture. <laughs> she's in the middle of stitching me up, and she stops what she's doing, peek over the curtain, photo bomb my photo. Think I'm kidding? Not kidding. Here she is, right there. Not her, that's, that's Skylar, right there. I absolutely love this photo. So much that I got it printed. And I did have it in a frame, but the frame broke whenever we were in the mood. I will try and introduce her on the vlog whenever I go for my first appointment. If she chooses not to be on, I can't force her. If she does, then yay! I will be happy. Things for sure, we are going to be doing an internal ultrasound. When I say internal ultrasound, you're just going to have to use your imagination. It's part of that stuff that I do not like. But... It will be the first ultrasound, and I should get a printout of the ultrasound, but in case I don't, because the doctor who I had when I was having Nicholas, she didn't let me have mine, so, um, until a little bit later. So I will try and vlog that portion. For obvious reasons, I'm not going to, you know, theater away from the actual screen of where the ultrasound is taking place. That's not something for you, and that's not exactly something I want to, no, share with you. So that is on July 27th, which is in roughly two weeks. Now that it's Sunday, it's like more like one week away. My pregnancy survival game right now is not on tech at all. I will tell you why I am having the worst morning sickness of my life. Um, pretty much anything that I get close to my mouth that is food, unless it's sweet, I pretty much just want to immediately throw at someone. I feel like if I put something in there, you know, forcing myself to try and eat, you know, because you have to eat to live, I turn into this vomit breathing dragon like, oh. I loved chicken when I was pregnant with Grayson. I didn't really have that many, you know, negative things about chicken or really anything unless it was, you know, ground beef when I was pregnant with Nicholas, this child just, this one hates food. I made chicken tonight, Open the bag, and I had this with Nicholas when I was pregnant with him too. I was working at Walmart, and I couldn't stand the smell of raw chicken, 
Even the deli cooked chicken, I couldn't get it. I was just, it was no. But I open up this chicken tonight, and the scent that hits my nose is like, I can only explain it, and I'm sorry if this is too much information, I can only explain it as if an older woman who is so old that she cannot reach down there and, and wash herself anymore, old crusty cooter smell is the smell that is evaporating out of this bag. I, just, I ugh, couldn't take it anymore. It's like a dirty hobo's vagina is releasing its smell out of this bag of chicken. So I had to have Skylar come and make sure that this chicken was okay and that it wasn't just, you know, it wasn't rotten or anything like that before I tried serving it to him and myself. The kids eat something else because they're picky as hell. He said it was fine, so I guess it's just one of the pregnancy symptoms that I'm having. Well, I'm sure that whenever you clicked on this video, you weren't expecting a whole mouth of vaginas to come out of my mouth. Anywho. Let me explain to you about my symptoms so far. I'm having the worst morning sickness, as I can say, as I said before. Really anything besides sweets. I can handle the sweets so far. I haven't even tried cake, but I made some tonight so that I could try some out and see if I can stomach that. Um, I've been having terrible pregnancy insomnia, which is why I'm up and it's 4.20. It's about to be 5 o'clock in the morning. And I'm still awake. I've got like no bags under my eyes. I'm completely wide awake and I'm fine. Then again, I contradict myself as well. The other night, I had a full night rest. And what did I do today? I slept until about six o'clock in the afternoon. I'm sleepy. Goodness gracious, I can't stay awake. I don't know why. It's hard. If you do have pregnancy insomnia, you really, you can't take sleeping aids or anything like that, so the only thing that you can take is Tylenol PM. Two. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Donald do a good zombie. It looks like I'm having the worst orgasm of my life whenever I do that, don't I? Ah, uh, pregnancy insomnia, morning sickness, freaking pregnancy brain. I mean, I can't keep my head on one thing for more than like a second and then just pop gone. What the hell was I talking about? I'm gaining weight like crazy. There's another thing. Can't fit into my pants. Something that you're not supposed to be expecting, at least from what I've read in the articles, you're not supposed to be expecting weight gain um, in pregnancy until about your third month or so. I convinced a car dealership man that I was 20 weeks pregnant. That's really bad. Oh, I could probably convince people that I'm having triplets at this point. Pregnancy brain. Can't think. It's pretty much all the pregnancy symptoms that I've been having. You know, the whole ritual of finding the toilet hasn't hit me that much yet. Alright guys, bye. I'll see you guys next week with the next update. Bye.